Hello, it's me. I'm back. Yes, indeed, I'm back. How? This is take two of trying to get this video done. I had a different setup starting because I wanted to have a separate microphone and I haven't figured all of it out yet. And the first attempt, the microphone, I don't know where it recorded it to, but it was nowhere I could find. So the whole audio track is somewhere in the ozone in the computer. Anyway, hi. I currently have on my eyes something that is part of a collection of stuff that I want to talk about, and it's the Rocky Road from Revolution of Mini, which is one of their candy bar things. Now, because the Marshalls trip was such a bust, and I couldn't even, there, there wasn't even, you know, a revolution. They had a revolution palette there that I wanted, but it was busted. And I ended up coming home and going on the Revolution site, going, all right, let's just see what we got here. Now, when I opened the Revolution site, not only did they have a pant load of stuff on 50% off, they also had a pant load stacked into a buy to get one. So, by the time I got finished at Marshall's and being PO and got to the revolution, I had Rocky Road. I had the Forever Dynamic Chilled I had Forever Dynamic Ebony I had The, come on, open up, don't be shy. Mini Tasty Avocado. Even though it's the mini, it's still got that nice, funny feeling cover on it. The Keep It Fresh Nine Pan. A tube of Ultimate Eye Base. Now, with the Ultimate Eye Base, this, you can tell that they have given you a full load on it because once you open it, it's, the pressure is high enough, it starts spewing. It just. By the time I got finished with trying to catch up with it, so I could keep the tip clean enough to put the cap on. I'd used it for, for concealer all over this body. Okay? I did the eyes. I did the under eyes. I got all my spots. It's like, I really appreciate that you get the full package dose of it, but does it quite have to? It, to like, anyway, and then, of the full-size palette stuff, I got the Vintage Lace Highlighter. I've got this one on my mug currently. I 
And then I got the sweet and tasty popcorn. And I got the Forever Flawless Birds Paradise. And I got the, come on, open up, thank you. Got the watermelon. with all of its squishy front. Now, considering I combined the minis and the full size and, and got them in the little buy to get an extra one bundles and that kind of thing, it just, it wasn't bad. It was not bad, not much. Um, now, part of the new setup is I've also got a new mirror down here. And I don't currently, didn't have it on to start with because let me tell you, it throws some light and it's got all kinds of magnification and there's this brightener and then you can lower it and it, you can mess with it it's it's got a standard mirror and then a two times and a three times and a four times and then they got one of those little round ones that you can plug on wherever that's a ten times wow but let me tell you with the lights on like this if I get up close to the mirror, I can see every little speck and every little mustache hair and it just, it's frightening. Turn that off for now because it's like, oh, it will really wash me out looking at, through the mirror thing with the lights on. Now, the rest of the stuff, because I told you I've got the Rocky Road on the eyes, and I managed to use every color in the palette. I've got coffee color elf eyeliner and Maybelline Master Precise Skinny liner tiny little thing in the upper water line with a tight doing a tight line and I've got even though this really isn't a, a particular cosmetic I've got the elf lash and brow serum on the lashes under the mascara which is the lengthening and volume from ELF. Yeah, it's, you know about me, ELF. Not a big deal. No, they don't know who I am. Let's see, the lips are Lipstick Queen, and it's called Frog Prince. This is one of those color change lip balms, so it just starts off with this really obnoxious green called Frog Prince. And then it comes out uh, pretty close to the tube color. I've got the got my e.l.f. serum foundation on. And an e.l.f blusher called Twinkle Pink and the basic the 
composition's formula, butter, bronze, or so, you know what that looks like. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got, my monitor was dying, so I had to get a new monitor, so I've got a new monitor over here, which is part of the reason I was trying out the other microphone, because I was like, oh, look, I've got a new monitor, and we can do this, and do this, and do this, and then I can't find the audio, so I'm doing this again, and going back to my camera microphone. Um, I've also got more light over here because I bought a desk lamp. Ye old basic desk lamp. And the desk lamp has got the same kind of lighting features that the mirror does when you either do the full amber, full white, or the mix. Just like my ring light where I can do white, amber, or and you know run the intensity up and down so I'm going oh look I have light over here and it's better because I've got an overhead light in the ceiling that hits this side so now I've got some light over here which helps it's not perfect but it helps and I got that lovely box of stuff in from Revolution today so I've been and being silly the older monitor is actually a television and it was too big it was 32 inches worth of monitor and in my little space it was overwhelming okay the monitor I have now is 27 inches and I don't feel as as intimidating by the size of the thing, and my eyes don't hurt so much. Um, and I've also got my entire space is just in a wreck. I've been using a desk with huge drawers in it that I had all my stuff in. Now, see, the problem is that desk belongs to my daughter-in-law and she had gotten it so that she and the grand girls who are in the bedroom in the basement could use it well the grand girls took so and i do mean so to finally get around to space that I was pretty well settled in with that desk right pretty well settled one day a couple of days ago they show up up here and they go Granny, we got the room cleared we can take the desk now and I'm going thanks for the heads up So I've been scrambling, trying to, to find replacement parts because let me tell you, the size of the drawers was phenomenal. The top drawer was large enough that all but a very few tall pallets that I have Fit in it by themselves. I only had a few, like four or five, that did not fit in the drawer because they were just too tall. Um. So currently, all of the makeup supplies that were in those drawers are in. You know the foldable grocery boxes that you can pick up at some of the grocery stores that hold basically like, if you had a couple of brown bags, you could put two of them in there if you set them just right. 
Um, I have three of those stacked over the top. That's all my stuff that was in those drawers. And the new desktop is kind of crowded with some overflow. And my filming space, which is a little white rolly table, it's basically kind of like a bed table, but instead of having the, that tilt thing going on, it's nice and flat and stays put. Yeah. It's kind of crowded too. All this stuff going on. And I finally, I haven't, have not been able to locate another desk in the drawers like that, damn it. <laughs> Pardon my French. But I now have a desk that's basically just a tabletop piece, kind of like a writing desk. But it's well big enough to house a lot of the stuff. And to get enough drawers, I got the um, plastic stackables and I got two stacks on a special of three door drawers each stack that I can put under the tabletop. And I've got one of the little narrow drawer nightstands that's got some of the stuff. And that fits under the desktop. And I'm going, okay, we'll work this out. We will work this out. I will massacre my grandchildren later. It's okay. That's okay. Oh, comb, comb, comb. Comb, comb, comb. Yes, this is the green that I put in, well, teal, that I put in just a little over a week ago now. And I've done Yeah, because it was it was sweaty, so I have in in that week I've put shampoo in my hair twice. Remember how dark it was when I first did it? Not so much. It's one of the problems with the semi-permanents. They run away much faster than I want them to. No fair. Anyway. That's where I am currently waiting for the delivery of some of my stuff and I we took I keep saying I it's like and you know it my husband did most of the heavy lifting stuff assembly stuff because I get in the way I try to help he tells me go away you're in my way but the um, 32 inch, which, as I said, was originally just a TV for us, has gone back up on the wall on the bracket to be a TV until it finally just falls apart completely. Um, we've got the Amazon, I know, who is Amazon uh, version of. Roku, you know, the fire stick. And yeah, we've got a cable company, but all we get from them is the internet and the landline that we use whenever something happens to the cell towers. The rest of the time we're on the cell phone. Um, for the most part, most of the stuff that I can get on the fire stick 
because I can I can put some subscriptions on the Fire Stick. Things like BritBox and that kind of thing. So, you know, I can get, catch some of my British comedies. I can usually find a way to get a hold of, you know, Doctor Who. Maybe a couple seasons behind, but I can get them. The one thing that bugs me is I really, 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 really want Disney Plus. Between Mandalorian and they're getting ready to start Artemis Fowl and their and Loki should be started or about to start. I love those kind of shows and I need them, but Disney Plus and I don't want to get some huge forking Hulu Disney Plus ESPN, you can take your ESPN and show it where the sun don't shine. I don't want ESPN, I don't necessarily want Hulu, I just want the Disney Plus, so I'm going to see if the Fire Stick and a subscription to Disney Plus will do the thing and make it work. Because I want to see these shows. I have very few that I really get touchy about. That's one of them. You know, those are some of them. It just, yes, please, please. So I'm going to check that out. It's not cheap. I get that. It's not cheap. I mean, if I want to watch Curiosity Stream, it's 20 bucks per year. Yeah, no, 20 bucks per year. Not the month, the year. Disney Plus is significant. We will see whether or not I can work it into the budget and then manage to work it into the budget so that I can keep it for more than one year. Um, cross the fingers. It means a whole lot less big on my top. Anyway, I've got some new ideas that I'm coming up working that started with an app that I heard about through a costuming channel. And we'll see how that goes. No, I'm not going to tell you yet what it is. I'm going to surprise you. Anyway, I've been sitting here jabbering. Get your vaccine. Don't argue, just do it. Don't start with me. I will science you into the ground. Keep your mask on if your location is telling you to wear your mask. Whether you've had the vaccine through the full run or not. I know the CDC says that if you've had your vaccine, fully vaccinated, dot, dot, dot. However, if your state or locality is telling you no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service, put the mask on. Don't argue it. Just do it. Um, as it is, as it stands at this point, we've got so many people that are sending away on the internet for phony vaccination cards that you can't guarantee the people you're running into are actually vaccinated. Just because you know you are and you take your mask off doesn't mean that the yo-yo next to you is vaccinated. They just Keep your distance. 
mind your manners. There is no reason to take any of this out on people who didn't make it happen. You know, just because you're PO that they that the people at the deli cannot take care of you if you show up without your mask, do not cuss them out. They didn't make the rules. They're just having to enforce them. Like it or not. Don't jump. They have enough trouble. It's a hard enough job to deal with customers all day without having so there. Stay out of trouble. If you get into trouble that you shouldn't ought to have been in to start with, there is no bail money. Any other circumstances we can discuss. But there won't be a lot anyway. And just for the heck of it, be good.